Hi, this is Michaela Stroud, 4-H Program Assistant for the Southwind Extension District with another video with our stock pot series. This week we are making cheeseburger soup. So let's go ahead and get started. For this week's soup, which is cheeseburger soup, the ingredients that we have is one pound ground beef or hamburger. We also have four tablespoons butter divided, three quarter cup chopped onion, three quarter cup shredded carrots, three quarter cup diced celery, one teaspoon dried basil, one teaspoon dried parsley, one and three quarter pounds, which is about four cups of cut cubed peeled potatoes, three cups of chicken broth, or I have one of the larger containers, a quarter cup all-purpose flour, two to four cups of shredded Velveeta. I'm using cube today, and depending on how cheesy you like your soup, if you use all four cups or just back it up to two, I'm using about two and a half, three this evening. One and one and a half cups whole milk, three quarter teaspoon salt, half teaspoon pepper, and to top it off, one quarter cup sour cream. To begin with, you need to put your ground beef into a skillet and brown it till there's no more pink. Then afterwards, we're gonna drain that to make sure that all the fat is off. Now, meanwhile, in my stock pot, I'm going to take the celery, onions, and carrots and put it over there for about 10 minutes over medium high heat so it can get sauteed and nice and soft and good. Okay, it's been 10 minutes since our vegetables have been sauteed and they're soft and ready to go. So next, we're going to add our ground beef our parsley, basil, salt, um, our chicken stock, and also our potatoes. This next part, um, since the potatoes are not cooked yet, we're going to crank up the heat to high until we get a boil. And then once we reach that boil, we're going to back it down to medium heat and let it simmer for about 12 to 15 minutes. So that's enough time for the potatoes to get soft. So I have turned up the heat. It's not to a boil yet, but after I get our spices in here, just mix that around to make sure everything gets nice and together. Also a couple of food safety tips for this. Um, Make sure if you have longer hair to tie it back so it's not in your face when you're cooking and also hopefully it does not end up in the food that you're making. Also, um, be sure to wash your hands frequently. So in case like you don't want cross contamination to occur, such as after I handled the ground beef, I went and washed my hands before I prepared the vegetables and moved them into the stock pot. So those are just a few food safety tips to remember when you're working in the kitchen. As our stock pot that has our beef and vegetables and chicken stock is finishing up simmering for its time, we have butter from the beginning of the recipe where I just put in a glass a measuring cup and put it into the microwave for a few minutes till it's nice and hot and melting. Now we're going to take our quarter cup of flour and put it right into that butter and we're just going to stir it as this is going to be our thickening agent or our roux to make our soup um, thicker than it currently is. So just make sure it's nice and hot, give it a good stir, and that is going to be the next part. I'm just going to directly add this into our pot. And so, try to make sure you get everything out. And I'm just gonna stir that in to make everything familiar with each other and happy and just allow that butter and flour roux mixture begin to thicken all the liquids inside of there. I just added our pepper and our next steps is we are going to add the milk. And last but not least we are going to add that cubed Velveeta cheese. 
and we're just going to keep watching this over medium heat and stir it in and keep stirring and watching it to make sure that all that cube Velveeta cheese gets melted. Once it is melted and everything is at the consistency that you would like, or if you'd like to add more cheese, this is the time to do it. But after the Velveeta is melted, your soup is ready to go. You can garnish this with a sour cream, a ketchup and mustard since it is cheeseburger soup, uh, extra cheese, basically anything that your heart desires. Our cheeseburger soup is now ready. Now be sure to grab your kids and your family and try this delicious recipe soon. And be sure to stay tuned to continue watching our Southwind Extension District stock pot series with the 4-H staff. So thank you for watching.